of the red-haired Emil Agama lizard is to attract female lizard for mating purposes. Um, you look at this Agama lizard, you look at the um, this particular species has orange colored head, orange colored tail. The orange color is to attract uh, females. So this very colorful one is the male. You can see the female. The female is not as colorful as the male. So the male has this for uh, visual display for to attract female. So the correct option here is C. In which of the following species is the biomass of an individual the smallest? And of course, if you weigh the tilapia fish, if you weigh the agama species, or uh, uh, that's the agama lizard, you weigh the toad, the buffalo species, uh, you weigh spirogyra, one individual spirogyra filament. Of course, it will be the smallest. So um, D is the answer here. Seed plants are divided into angiosperms and gymnosperms. Um, of course, you know plants are divided into three major divisions. Talophytes, bryophytes, and tracheophytes. Um, the talophytes, the algae, they also call the algae, like the spirogyra. They don't have leaves or roots or stems. They are aquatic. And then bryophytes, uh, like mosses and liverworts. Um, they don't have this kind of leaves or stem or roots you have in the common plants around us. So they don't have true stems or leaves or roots and their vascular bundle is not uh, well developed, the, the bryophytes. But these common plants we have around us, um, we well developed leaves, stem and roots, well developed vascular bundle, we call them tracheophytes tracheophytes. So among the tracheophytes, there are some that can produce um, uh, spores and there are those ones that can make seeds. Okay, so the ones that uh, make uh, spores, we call them pteridophytes, pteridophytes like the ferns. The ferns can produce spores, they don't produce seeds. Okay, but remember they are tracheophytes, so but they produce spores instead of seeds. The ones that produce seeds can be gymnosperms or angiosperms. Gymnosperms produce seeds, but their seeds are not inside a fruit. So they produce what we call naked seeds because the seeds are not inside the fruit. Uh, something like your the, the four, three, they are not the conifers. They produce, they produce naked seeds. The angiosperms, their seeds are inside a fruit. So that is angiosperms, the common flowering plants. Their seeds are inside a fruit. So the answer to this question is B, option B. In which of this group of vertebrates is parental care mostly exhibited? The correct option here is the mammals. Mammals. Parental care is more in mammals.
Question six, which of the organisms represented are notable agricultural pests? That is I and IV, that's option B. The grasshopper, the caterpillar, they are very prominent pests of uh, crop plants. Okay, so I and ivy, they are, they are the, the, the correct option here. An economic importance of the organism represented by ivy is that it is destructive to farm crops. It is destructive to farm crops okay that is i um, um iv that's the caterpillar is destructive to farm crops because it destroys vegetables But a the adult form of III is a vector of elephantiasis. Is a vector of elephantiasis. Okay, III is the pupal stage of mosquito. And of course, you know, mosquito is the vector of elephantiasis. Of course, you know, elephantiasis is caused by the filaria worms, which area bankruptcy is transmitted by mosquitoes. The filaria worms, when it gets into humans, it penetrates into the lymphatic system and blocks the lymphatics, that's the lymphatic vessels. And what you see is parts of the body will start swelling up. It will call that disease elephantiasis. Question 9. The adaptive importance of nuptial flight from termite colonies is to disperse the reproductive in order to establish new colonies. Of course, you know in the termite colony, we have um, a cast we call the wing reproductives. The wing reproductives fly out in what we call the nuptial flight or the wedding flight. And they land on the ground, pair up to meet. And thereafter, they form new colonies. So in this picture here, you can see the wing reproductives. They are the common termites that we see around us. Number 10, the gas evolved in this process, looking at this diagram, is carbon-4 oxide. Carbon-4 oxide. Of course, we look at the test tube as 10% sucrose and yeast. Of course, you know the yeast cells will act on the sugar, that's the sucrose, and in the process, carbon dioxide is released. So you know the importance of the lime water here is to detect that it is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide turns lime water milky.